Welcome to an Alaska homestead where we're becoming more self-sufficient on a remote island in Southeast Alaska. This wasn't the video we were gonna upload, but this is the video you're gonna get. We probably skipped a week because I came to town to upload a video and go to a doctor's appointment. And then uh, I just got a call from my wife and she had slipped and fallen. Uh, and uh, she either sprained her ankle real bad or broke it, we're not sure. Uh, so I'm headed back out there and there's a big windstorm coming so uh, I'm gonna stay out there and we're probably gonna have to get a helicopter and uh, and fly her back to town so she can uh, get looked at by a doctor um, yeah we'll just see what happens uh, we're supposed to be getting 30 30 30 knot winds and 60 knot gusts so I'm gonna throw the Mustang suit on just to be on the safe side because I just got a call that they said the winds are picking up, so uh, better to be safe than sorry. As windy as they said, we snuck in before the wind came because, like I said, it's supposed to be 30 knots today and and um, seven foot seas. So I think we got here right right before the storm hit. What you got going on there, sugar? I did something stupid. What'd you do? I ran out to save the chickens from the hawk. Got underneath the netting and I ran outside with my Crocs on and I hit the ice and I think I might possibly have broken my ankle. <laughs> Mama, no. I, I know I lecture you all the time. <laughs> and I did everything that I told you not to do. I did it. Should we say thanks to Brad and Victoria? <laughs> they came and they saved me. We didn't pull her up into the house. She was a big girl and did that on her own. <laughs> she low crawled like a true soldier. I did. And Gunner licked my face the whole way up. <laughs> <laughs> and so what are we waiting on now? We're waiting for a helicopter to come and get me. Just hop in the boat. I can take you back. Well, we have 50 knots tomorrow, so they're going to help you pull the boat out for me. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> uh, we have to go home and put the right shoes on. <laughs>
Diana, how are you feeling? Um, <laughs> definitely could be better. I'm just waiting now to get some x-rays and uh, hopefully it's not broken. Maybe, maybe I just tore something, I'm not sure, but um, <sighs> helicopter ride went really well. So we're just uh, waiting to see the doctor now. Well, it didn't take long before the winds picked up and they stayed like this for a few days. So I'm glad she got out when she could and, and I wouldn't have been able to get, get her back on the boat and back over here and get the boat out of the water in enough time. So I think we played it safe by taking the uh, helicopter route. All right, so I'm going to go pick my wife up tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to go lower the boat into the water today uh, because the tides are right. Uh, but there's one thing you should know about living on an island in southeast Alaska is basically your life revolves around the weather and tides. Once you accept that, then you'll be good. But if you try to fight the weather and the tides, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle because you ain't going to win. Anyways, let's go get the tractor over there and we'll get the boat in the water.
Well, we got the boat put back in the water, so I'll launch tomorrow and go pick up my wife and bring her back here. So, uh, but the good news is she's doing much better now. So I'm super happy about that. So let's get the tractor back over to the cabin and next time you see us, it'll be at the dock, I guess, uh, picking her up. Is it, buddy? What's a mushroom? You don't need to be taking, no, leave it. Where'd you get that at? I think that, I think that was a mushroom. Gonna try and drop some shrooms on us over here. Oh, maybe it's not. Look here. I think this is part of that, um, that sea lion that washed up on shore a year or so ago. Maybe it's breaking down and he's been, something's been gnawing on it and trying to get the marrow out of it, I guess. Look at all the crows and the two ravens. You see our two ravens and all the crows there? So you can see how much bigger the ravens are than the crows. All right, let's get back to business. Look who I have with me. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> what happened, Mama? I had an accident, a silly one. <laughs> I lecture people all the time, don't slip and fall, and I did. <laughs> but luckily I didn't break it. Um, I tore and popped and everything there probably was. I know the doctor is always like, he goes, well, would have probably been better if you broke it. The healing would have gone faster, but I don't know. Here we are. So I'm back. <laughs> so now you're in a boot for a month? I am. Yep. And look, she's got her boot all wrapped up. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you're ready to go. I am. <laughs> All right, so this is where it all went down right here. We didn't have zip ties on this, so I went ahead and zip tied like every 12 inches or so on here. But the hawk had gotten underneath the netting here and was trying to fly up inside of the coop. Uh, that's when my wife came down here and it's got a little grade right here going inside and she hit this and slipped. And that's when everything, that's when everything went bad. So what I'm gonna do right now is, is this is the closest uh, area between the where they go in and out and the fence. Everything else is, per, you know, a good five feet at a minimum, probably seven, six to seven foot from here to there. And that's, besides this area, that's the other shortest area. But this is where the hawk tried to come in and, and get one of the chickens. So what I'm gonna do is I drove a little stake in there I'm gonna run some fishing line from here to the stake and then to the other post. And then we'll put some CDs on that fishing line and hang them. And hopefully that will prevent the hawk from coming back.
What is this? <laughs> Gunner, you want to know what it is too? Every day I put some nuts down for the ravens, but I typically don't put the GoPro that close. And ravens are very intelligent and very cautious birds. So with the GoPro that close, they weren't having anything to do with those nuts. But that didn't stop the Stellar Jay. He came by and started gobbling them up. But on his second run, the ravens had enough and they did a flyby saying, Hey, these are our nuts. Whether we're eating them right now or not, leave them alone. Alright, so if you like what we're doing here, uh, hit the subscribe button and then click that little alarm bell because I get people saying, you know, I haven't seen you post in a long time. Well, you know, sometimes YouTube just doesn't show videos to everybody. Uh, so if you want to make sure you see the latest and greatest videos from us, uh, hit the little uh, notification bell too. Alright, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week.